Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing a simple Kung Po chicken recipe. This is a classic stir-fry dish which you can easily make at home. So let's get started. First, let's prepare the ingredients. Cut 2 to 3 sprigs of spring onions into strips. One red onion cut into wedges. Three cm ginger sliced thinly. Then roughly chop three cloves of garlic. We are going to add three to five dried chilies to give it some spiciness. If you don't like it too spicy, reduce the number of chilies. Cut into half so that it's easier for the seeds to come off later. Pour hot water, then soak for five to ten minutes. Then chop the chilies into smaller cubes. Here I have 400 grams of skinless chicken meat. You can use the thigh or breast. Cut into cubes and set aside. So there are two key ingredients to this recipe. One is this black vinegar made from glutinous rice and this is citron peppercorn. I will be adding these ingredients later in the video. Now let's marinate the chicken. Half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon light soy sauce, one tablespoon Shaoxing rice wine, one teaspoon cornstarch. Give it a good mix. Remember to mix until the water is fully absorbed into the chicken. This will help prevent the oil from splattering when we fry it later. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of oil. The oil will help lock in the moisture in the chicken while cooking and also prevent the oil from splattering. Then lastly, prepare the sauce. One tablespoon light soy sauce, two teaspoon sugar, quarter teaspoon Chinese black vinegar, two tablespoon water, one teaspoon cornstarch, half teaspoon dark soy sauce. Mix well. After all the ingredients are prepared, let's start cooking. First, toast a handful of nuts. You can use any nuts you like. It's just to give the dish some crunchy texture. I didn't have cashew nuts, so I use macadamia nuts. Now add the chicken. Fry until 70 to 80% cooked. and set aside. Add some oil if necessary. Then add in the minced garlic and ginger. Fry until fragrant. Add the onions. Red chilies, peppercorn. Then add back the chicken and nuts. Toss a few times. Then add the sauce. Give it a good mix before pouring in. Cook until the sauce starts to become sticky. Then add the spring onion. Toss a few times and that's it, you're done. Hope you enjoyed this dish. See you next time.